Hi, I'm Jeff Cogswell. Today here at Go Parallel, I'm going to shift gears a little bit from our usual discussions and actually talk about something we don't normally cover here, Android operating system. And the reason we're bringing this up is Intel has released a new product that uh, lets you build applications using an IDE that they've created that run on Android and Windows, and you'll be able to do a good amount of cross-platform development. Now why is that interesting for us here at GoParallel? Well, the Android, the, the newer Android systems often have multi-core processors on them and as a result you can use C++ and do parallel coding including threading building blocks on, on mobile devices now. So what I'm going to do here is just give you a real brief intro to where you can get going with the product. I'm not going to have time or space to show you completely how to use it, uh, but I'll point you in the direction of how you can get it. Now I need to point out that this product is still in very early pre-release and so as such you're just going to be able to fiddle with it a little bit and you might not be able to really produce any uh, production code yet with it, but the nice thing is uh, when you sign up with it, uh, there, you basically have it for a full year for free and you'll be able to get updates and whatnot. So let's head over to software.intel.com and over here you'll see Android or you can head up here to do Android and then you'll head down here, uh, here is Intel INDE and it stands for Integrated Native Developer Experience. And to get it, come over here and click Get It Now. And I'm not going to do that because I've already done it and it'll take you through the steps of registering and then you'll receive over email a link to download it. Now, I've already done all that. I'm going to switch over to my uh, remote desktop server here. Okay, and once you get the thing up and running, this is what it looks like. And there's several steps you have to go through. Uh, you can see I've already signed in. Up here, you click uh, it, you, you click this little gear icon, and there will be a, a place to sign in. And once you do that, uh, then you can download uh, their Compute Code Builder, and then you can do the environment setup. Now, in order to use these, you have to make sure you have installed both the Android SDK and the Android Native Developer Kit. And I'll show you real quick where you can get those. The easiest way to get to these is just through, uh, find them through Google. The Android NDK, uh, just Google Android NDK and that'll take you here. And scroll down and pick uh, which one you got, probably Windows 64 bit. And by the way, right now, uh, this tool from Intel is only available on Windows, but they're saying eventually there will be a Mac and a Linux version available. So for now, uh, you'll have to use your Windows computer and download the NDK here and do similarly with the Android SDK. and you can download it from there as well. And that will get you going. And and the tool comes with uh, one of Intel's own C++ compilers. Uh, in the past, when you used the, the uh, NDK, you would have to use the GNU C++ compiler. But Intel has, has ported their compiler. And what's interesting is it can target both Intel-based Android as well as ARM-based Androids. Yes, you heard that correctly the Intel compiler can generate code uh, for the ARM processors. And a lot of the processors, as I mentioned, today are multi-core and some of them even have a, a graphics processing unit. And with this you can use the OpenCL to do the graphics GPU programming and lots of things. So you'll definitely want to check this out if you're into mobile. I'm going to be trying it out quite a bit in the weeks to come and if there's interest I can show you more about how to use it.